welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a different setup for me. We kind of took a, a six week hiatus just to kind of get settled into our home. And so this is not gonna be my permanent background. It's just kind of what I found today. So um, thank you guys so much for watching all the videos, even though I wasn't putting out anything in the month of June. I really appreciate you guys and for watching them even when I'm not actually there. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do some sheet pan meals. I like doing some fast and easy, simple meals. These are just gonna be a throw it on your pan and then you have dinner ready to go in about 30 minutes. So I hope that you guys like them. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna get started on is some Greek and Italian chicken and potatoes. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is grab just a little bit of avocado oil. Any type of oil is gonna be fine here. I love having avocado or olive oil. Those are my two favorites. So we're gonna put a third of a cup of avocado oil at the very bottom of my mixing bowl. I'm also going to get the juice of a whole lemon. I thought I was gonna do just half of a lemon just cause I thought it was a little bit much, but I ended up doing the whole lemon. My husband loves a good lemon zest to it. And then I put in one teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one tablespoon of parsley, two teaspoons of salt, and then I have this Greek dry salad dressing that I went ahead and poured in there. Go ahead and give it a good stir, getting all that combined. And you can do all of this without the Greek. I wanted to add like a really good Greek flavoring to all of what I'm gonna be making here, but you definitely don't have to. Um, I wanna go ahead and spray my sheet pan and I'm just gonna add my chicken. I have about two pounds of chicken that I'm gonna add. Of course, you guys don't have to add as much. I just have a big family, so I have to make sure I'm feeding everybody. And then I diced up about five to six small to medium red potatoes. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that dressing and just pour all of that mix right on top of my potatoes and my chicken. Give it a good stir, just kind of make that nice and even. I cooked that at 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes added some green beans to it you guys this was a huge hit so so delicious i overcooked my chicken just a tad so it is a little bit on the dry side but my potatoes are absolutely perfect my green beans were delicious this was a very hearty meal now we're gonna be doing Italian pork chops. So to a medium sized bowl, I need half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of paprika, and about a quarter of a cup of oil. At this time, I did not have um, all my oils out. I didn't really do all these in order, so <laughs> I just grabbed the type of oil that I had on hand. Um, and then I need two packets of this Italian seasoning mix, and then we need two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then just give that a good stir. Really, you're just getting all that oil combined in with those seasonings. If you feel like your dish needs some more oil, definitely put a little bit more oil into your bowl. And then I just dunked all of my pork chops into that sauce and kind of just let it marinate for about 10 minutes. And then I put it onto my sheet pan. I'm also going to put in this bag of carrots. I thought carrots and potatoes would go really well with this dinner. So I'm just trying to fit in all of those potatoes and with my pork chops and carrots. I recently bought two of these like sheet pans from Sam's that are a little bit larger just because I have a little bit larger of a family so putting and kind of spreading everything out onto two sheet pans works really well. I drizzled all of that the rest of that dressing on top of the carrots and the potatoes and um, just let that cook in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes um, just because my potatoes were a little bit larger and the carrots um, typically you want to let those cook for a little bit longer just because um, it just takes the carrots a little bit longer to cook but this was phenomenal my husband loved it and he is not a pork chop fan but he really enjoyed this meal 
Up next is Korean chicken and veggies. And you guys, this one was my favorite of all of these. So, so good. First off, I'm gonna chop up some broccoli. I have about two cups worth of broccoli that I went ahead and chopped up. And then I'm gonna take these chicken thighs. I do end up using all those chicken thighs because like I said before, it, we have a big family and I could always use some leftover chicken. Okay, next I'm gonna take a large bowl. I'm gonna put in four tablespoons of brown sugar. And then four tablespoons of soy sauce. I also have this toasted sesame oil and I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of that. And then I have our avocado oil. And then I'm just gonna put in two tablespoons of that. And then I have this sriracha sauce um, and I just wanted to put in just about a teaspoon. You just need just a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor. The recipe doesn't call for the stir fry sauce, but I had it and I thought it would be delicious in this dinner. So I went ahead and used just a little bit of it. Now you just want to go ahead and give that a good stir. And now I'm just going to take my chicken thighs. I did go ahead and cut off all the skins and any kind of like stuff that I just didn't want on my chicken. I went ahead and cut that off, just trimmed it. And I'm just gonna let it soak in this sauce for about 15 minutes. It's gonna act as like a marinade for us. While that's marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and get my sheet pan. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly spray that. All right, now that the 15 minutes are up, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my chicken over to my sheet pan. All right, and with the remaining of that sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and put the broccoli in there and just try to give that a little bit of a stir. I did have a little bit of carrots left over as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cook up those two things in with this sauce. So I'm just trying to give that a good stir. I'll let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then put that on our sheet pan as well. I'm gonna cook that in the oven 350 for about 35 minutes. I really just wanna make sure that those carrots are nice and cooked through since carrots are really hard to cook. Make sure that they're cooked through all the way when you're cooking them in the oven. I did pair this with some rice. I just made some rice in the Instant Pot because that is the best way to make rice. It is so simple and easy. I love to make my rice with a little bit of chicken broth or chicken bouillon. And as you can see, this chicken is very, very tender. It's so, so delicious. I love making meals with chicken thighs. The meal is always usually just really moist and delicious and tender. This meal was a huge hit in my opinion. Next we're gonna be making some sausage and veggies and of course you guys can make this keto if you just want to omit the potatoes in entirety or maybe add some sweet potatoes um, that would make it a little bit more low carb and keto friendly. Um, so I have six potatoes that I just went ahead and diced up and then we have a small bowl and now we're going to add a little bit of avocado oil. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of avocado oil, one teaspoon of honey mustard, or if you don't want to do Dijon mustard, I usually just have honey mustard on me, so that's what I used. I'm also going to use one teaspoon of basil. One teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of salt. And then just go ahead and give that a good stir and I don't want to make more dishes so I'm just using the teaspoon measuring cup that I have and then just giving that a good whirl I have two sheet pans because you know we eat a lot <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and spray those and I'm gonna put half of my potatoes on one sheet and then half the other half on the other um, and then just drizzle a little bit of that sauce that we had made just a little bit on those potatoes and then give that a good stir. 
Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 because we're gonna cook these potatoes just a little bit before we add the rest of our veggies and sausage. I just want to give these potatoes a little bit of a head start so I'm gonna let those cook in the oven for about 15 minutes while I'm making all this other stuff I have two packages of smoked sausage that I went ahead and diced up I just like them into really small bite-sized pieces I did go ahead and dice up half of an onion and then I have one zucchini and one squash that I went ahead and diced up as well my girls and my husband love zucchini and squash so that's mainly for them me and the boys are just kind of a little iffy about it but <laughs> we'll eat it if it's in front of us a lot of people really don't care for zucchini and squash and we are just one of those people <laughs> Now that the potatoes have been cooking in the oven for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and we're gonna just kind of half this, half of the sausage and veggies on one and then the other half. I just wanna make it as even as possible. And I'm just gonna spread all that out. That way it cooks evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the oven and let these cook for another 15 minutes. You guys, this was divine. So, so, so good. And actually, if you wanna add some broccoli to this, broccoli would make this taste even better. So delicious. It's like the perfect amount of oil. The seasonings are just on spot, you guys. If you guys love sausage and zucchini, um, you guys are gonna love this meal. Very, very delicious. And of course, if you wanna add some rice to it, some type of starch, that would be delicious as well. Last thing that we're gonna be making is Parmesan crusted chicken. So to my sheet pan, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good spray. I have about two and a half pounds of chicken breast that I went ahead and put on the, on the tray. I also have some sweet potatoes. I just diced up one whole sweet potato and then I diced up about three medium sized red potatoes. And then I just put that on the bottom of the sheet pan and I'm just gonna sprinkle this with some salt and pepper um, just to give it a little bit of a flavor of a seasoning but nothing too crazy. My children are kind of over there trying to help me. <laughs> get this into the oven because at this point I'm kind of rushing to make sure that we get it in the oven on time so that we can have dinner at a reasonable hour and then we just have a little bit of oil I'm just gonna put right on top of the chicken and the potatoes this is gonna make it have so much flavor I just love putting oil on the potatoes so delicious that way and so you're just gonna kind of rub everything together and make sure everything is nice and oiled. And then I have some breadcrumbs. You guys can use regular or Italian, whichever you guys prefer. Um, the recipe is called for a third of a cup, but really probably just a fourth of a cup would be sufficient because I did not end up using all of the breadcrumbs here. I'm just gonna place that right on top of the chicken and then I have about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna put right on top of the chicken as well and of course you guys know that Parmesan cheese on potatoes is absolutely delicious so I ended up putting a little bit on the potatoes as well I have never had Parmesan cheese on sweet potatoes I think that they would be delicious on that but I've just never tried it <laughs> so let me know if you guys have had Parmesan uh, sweet potatoes before I have not tried it yet put this in the oven at 400 degrees and let this cook for about 30 minutes this is very delicious such a easy go-to meal especially if you are making this during a very very busy weeknight so so delicious and I also paired it with some green beans just to make it um, a little bit more filling with all the vegetables that we have here also pairing this with the salad would be divine this is such an easy meal for that anybody can make during the week guys watching this video I hope that you enjoyed this content I hope that you guys enjoy sheet pan meals I love them and you can do so many different things with them 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.